Hello everyone and welcome to another Power Gaming video. In this video we're talking all about Court of Oryx runes. More specifically, a couple of different methods that you can incorporate into your everyday playing to get a ton of runes. Now, before we go any further with this, I do want to say that for the stolen runes and the antiquated runes, we're not really going to be talking much about those since the only real ways to get them are uh, you can get a stolen rune by completing a reciprocal rune and you can get an antiquated rune by completing a stolen rune. So a tier 1 has the chance to give you a tier 2 and a tier 2 has a chance to give you a tier 3. Uh, aside from that, your only other options are to go and buy the tier 2 Court of Oryx runes from Eris herself for 2500 glimmer and I think like 10 black wax idols. It's really it's really overpriced. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But uh yeah, it's that or rank up Eris and her faction package could give you some stolen or antiquated runes. And the final option to get these stolen and antiquated runes are completing the King's Fall raid, either on normal or heroic, it doesn't matter. But all the chests in that raid, and I believe there's eight of them in total, they give you uh, some kind of, you know, reward. Uh, each one of those has a chance to give you a stolen and antiquated rune, and you can actually get a ton of them in a very short amount of time doing the King's Fall Raid. However, not everybody has access to the King's Fall Raid, so for those of you who don't, then we're going to talk about the best way to get them and the most consistent way to get them, and that is by completing Tier 1 Court of Oryx runes. So we're going to be talking all about farming the Tier 1 Court of Oryx in this video. So starting off, uh, let's let's start with Eris. Um, like I said, she sells Tier 1 Court of Oryx runes and Tier 2 Court of Oryx runes. Uh, the other way that do it is you can go and get the bounty that you see here. You get this by completing your first Court of Oryx each week. Stage 2 and Stage 3 of this bounty will give you a guaranteed reciprocal rune. And as I said previously, ranking up Eris, or opening up her faction package, will give you, or has the chance to give you, a stolen rune and an antiquated rune in addition to 4 to 6 reciprocal runes. Very easy to do. Um, for the Eris bounty that I was talking about, Stage 1 gives you 250 XP, uh, Stage 2 gives you 500, Stage 3 gives you 750. So you're getting 1500 XP a week just by doing that one bounty that takes about 20 minutes. And if you'd like to see how to glitch that bounty, click the card in the top right corner of your screen right now, and it'll take you to my video showing you how to do that. So they're really easy to do. It only takes 3000 XP to rank up Eris, and you can do it every other week. Some other methods are chests in the Dreadnought. I will go ahead and link... Uh, the card in the top right corner of your screen right now to show you how to open these first two chests that I'm about to show you. I made a whole video all about it just showing you how to do this. Uh, the first one that you saw, actually, I'm sorry, was the Agonark rune. Uh, those are fairly simple. This chest is the one that requires the cult of the worm, or the scent of the worm, and this chest is the one that kills you with taking consumption. So for the scent of the worm chest and this one right here, I'll have the video linked in the top right corner of your screen right now. Uh, the other option would be to just go and open up the regular patrol chests. These things are all over the Dreadnought, they're really easy to find, and they do have a chance of giving you a Tier 1 and even a Tier 2 rune, although that is very, very, very rare, guys. I wouldn't go and spend a lot of time trying to open those chests if you're looking for a stolen rune. But, as I said previously, completing a Tier 1 has a chance to give you a Tier 2, and so on and so forth throughout on down the line. So, uh, yeah, try to get as many reciprocal runes as you can, and if you do enough reciprocal runes, then, I mean, you're going to get the stolen runes, you're going to get the antiquated runes. That's the best way to do it. Uh, there are a few other really easy guaranteed methods to do. We'll go ahead and take a look at those right now. The first one being the VIP patrol missions on the Dreadnought. These are the ones with the star inside the diamond. Completing a VIP patrol mission on the Dreadnought is guaranteed to give you a reciprocal rune. Another option would be to go to Earth... Mars, Venus, or that's it. And <laughs> had to think for a second. Earth, Mars, and Venus, and complete the Taken Zealot, Taken Champion, you know, random patrols. The way that these work are uh, they're on a weekly reset. So let's say that you go to the Barons on Mars, like you see right now, and you kill this guy for the rest of the week, he won't drop a rune. But if you go to any other destination or another one on Mars in a different area, you can get those as much as you want. You just can't kill the same exact boss in the same location more than once a week. Well, you can, but you just won't get a rune for it. But anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you found this helpful. These are all the ways that I know of, personally, that you can get a lot of reciprocal runes for very little effort. So uh, drop a comment in the box below. Let me know if you know of any other ways to get these runes. And if you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care.